Welcome to Stories from a Lonesome Stretch of Highway. Every once in a while, every now and again, when the moon's holding water, I'm going to pour a cup of coffee and tell some stories. Episode 8. The road is an interesting place. I'm sure you've heard me say that before. Um, but it really is. You can't really plan for anything. Anything that can happen will happen. I'm pretty sure that uh, Murphy, the guy who wrote The Law, I'm pretty sure that he was in a, in a traveling band when he came up with that philosophy. Because it's true. There's never a day that goes by where you don't, you don't say to yourself, well, I never thought I would see that happen. And it's just a, a never-ending uh, uh, barrage of incidents that, 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 like that. Um, and the longer you're on the road, the more stuff will happen. So if you leave the road like we always did uh, in early January, uh, only to return in August, there would be you know, eight months, eight and a half months of just a steady stream of like, can you believe that? Anyway, so this is a little story um, that takes us back to March of 2001. We had just finished recording the Fools for the Radio record, and we had also uh, just uh, completed a tour of uh, Holland, Belgium, Germany, Denmark, Sweden. And um, we just gotten back the week before. Uh, and so I think it was like, um, well, I know when it was, because when we landed, um, the next day I quit smoking, which was March 11th, 2001. Uh, yeah, so I quit smoking. The following week, we had a, uh, a show, a St. Patrick's Day show up in Boston, Cambridge, actually, at the uh, Kendall Cafe. And so we drove uh, from, Boston, uh, from uh, Nashville, all the way up to Cambridge, uh, and I was, and everybody in the band hadn't quit smoking at that point, except me. So it was uh, serious nicotine withdrawal. Anyway, went up, did the gig. It was great. Jenny traveled with us, and uh, after the after the show the next day, um, we went to uh, Connecticut so I could meet Jen's dad, uh, uh, Jen's folks for the first time. So. Yeah, the next day we drove down to Westport, Connecticut, met her folks, and then her sister and uh, her sister's husband, David. Um, yeah, and just sort of got introduced to the family. And the whole time I'm just having these Nick fits. And then uh, we hung around for a couple of days. We went to New York City, puttered around NYC, lots of fun. We uh, also um, went to see uh, Sean Colvin and Kim Ritchie playing at the uh, bottom line. And uh, the next day, we started making our way to Nashville. We got away very late. We got away around noon. And we were hoping to make it back to Nashville. Because this would have been like, I guess probably on like a Wednesday, I think is when we made the trip. Um, I can't quite remember. It was a Tuesday or a Wednesday. It was a midweek drive back. I think, I think it was a Wednesday that we were making the trip. And um, we had a show coming up that weekend uh, down in Birmingham, Alabama. So uh, we got to, um, yeah, we had a show on Thursday. So we leave Wednesday knowing, okay, well, we'll get, you know, the, the plan was to get back to uh, Nashville around midnight, get a good night's sleep, uh, get up the next day and roll down to Birmingham around noon. Well. Once again, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. We didn't roll out of uh, New York till around noon and uh, finally um, rolled into Nashville at three in the morning. Even still, that's okay. We got lots of time. Sleep till noon, get up, roll down to Birmingham. Easy. No problem. Done it a million times. Could do it in my sleep. So at five in the morning, the phone rings. And Jenny and I are sound asleep and exhausted. Um, we've been asleep for two hours at this point. The phone rings, and it's my manager, Brian. He's like, Mike, what are you doing in Nashville? I said, I just got home from New York. He's like, you're doing a, 
Uh, you're doing like the, the breakfast television show in Birmingham in, in two hours. I'm like, what are you talking? I said, we're gonna have to cancel it, man. I, I'm, there's no way I can make it. Birmingham is like 180 miles from here. You're talking, pushing three hours to drive him. And uh, he's like, you have to do everything you can to make it. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I said, well, where are the guys? He said, they're already in Birmingham. I'm not really sure how I missed that little tidbit of information. Uh, but this was back before any of us had cell phones and people could text me and say, hey man, are you coming to Birmingham or what? Meet, meet us in Birmingham. Uh, anyway, so that wasn't the case. So Jenny and I leapt out of bed, ran through the shower, in the car, threw my guitar in the, um, in the, uh, in the back of the car and we haul ass towards Birmingham. And uh, I know that on, a, on your average day, when you're not like in a hellfire hurry, it's, it's the better part of three hours to get to Birmingham. And uh, we were rolling down the, we were roaring down the highway by, uh, uh, by, by five o'clock. And I think we were on air at 7.30. We were supposed to be there at seven for sound check, I guess. And uh, we hit traffic, we hit just, hideous traffic and we were making really good time i'm looking at the watch thinking okay the clock thinking okay we might just be able to make this like right on the number of course i didn't have any way to get a hold of the guys you know didn't have a cell phone couldn't call and say hey guys i'll be there i'm on my way i'm almost i'm five miles away bang we hit a traffic jam gridlock and we just sat there and sat there and and uh, anyway eventually we made it on the on the number, we made it at 7:30 sharp. Uh, we were running up, and we were we were we were performing on this breakfast television show up on the roof, and uh, it was um, it was uh, by the skin of my teeth. I'll tell you, they were ready to. They they were telling the guys, "Look, man, if Mike's not here, one of you guys has to sing the song. We have no choice." <laughs> so Dave was uh, ready to make his. Uh, uh, singing debut, and um, as luck would have it, uh, we have footage. I have footage of that particular uh, performance, and uh, here it is. I hope you dig it. Miles per hour. We're gonna check in with Rick and get the groove. What's happening up there? Hey, we got some great music up here on the Fox 6 patio. We've opened up the, the patio for music again this year. Uh, Mike Plume Band is here tonight at 9 at the BNA Warehouse. They are performing. These guys are from Canada. Mike Plume is just pulling in. Good morning to all. I'm going to let you get set up. And we're going to talk with Dave real quick. Good morning you, to you. How are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Thanks for coming back to uh, Birmingham. Thanks we heard for from, having us. We heard from Mike at uh, City Stages last year, and I know yeah. you've been on a whirlwind tour since then. Nonstop. We just came back from Europe about a month and a half. We were over there, and uh, now we're back in the motherland, <laughs> the old country, even though we're from Canada. Even though you're from Canada. Now, you know, the one we thing... Like to, we like to say we're from. Uh, well, well, you know, this is your second time, I guess, less than a year now that you've, you've pulled through Birmingham and performed. You did City Stages. You got BNA tonight. Uh, uh -huh. This is uh, it got to be a good time. You're, 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 you're road warriors. You stay on the road a lot, don't you? Yeah, you, you got to do that, though, if you have any hope in trying to, you know, to do it in this business, uh -huh. I guess. Well, let me, let me grab if Mike has a second before is. we get started. Good morning to you, Mike. It's good to see you again. Man. How you doing, sir? Hey, thanks for coming out here. Thanks for joining oh, us man. this morning. <laughs> the traffic was hideous. <laughs> is I the... can do a traffic report for you. <laughs> well, we'll do that in a moment. <laughs> How has the CD been? It's doing okay. All right. It's doing okay. And like Dave was saying, just nonstop touring. And, uh, I mean, I'm driving in from New York right now as we speak. <laughs> so uh, it's just... Uh, Road Warriors is, is, a, is exactly the, the word. What are you going to play for us today? We're going to do a song off of the Song and Dance Man record called Girl in Green. All right, Girl in Green, the Dave Plume Band. I mean, the Mike Plume <laughs> What? I was about to say Dave Matt. <laughs> Sorry, Mike <laughs> All right, guys. But I knew it was you Now all those years They ain't been too kind to you But then again They 
The Mike Plume Band, renamed at least for one song in Birmingham, the Dave Plume Band. <laughs> it's great yeah. hearing you guys. Thank doesn't you this one over so. here, doesn't the drummer look like uh, Robert Downey Jr.? Just a little bit. <laughs> we'll be back in a second. We're going to hear you one more time. You bet. And we'll be back with a final check of weather and traffic. Stay with us. Woo. Guys sound good. <laughs> no, no problem. <laughs> there, in a nutshell, is life on the road. 100 miles an hour with your hair on fire, not knowing if you're going to make it from one minute to the next. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. Take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you around. All right? All right.